What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be upgrading my convict cichlids tank from a 20 to a 40 gallon and hopefully I will get some breeding action from them breeding action from them and they will like their bigger home a little better and I think a reason why I'm not getting so much breeding action is honestly because the tank might be a little too small for them well it's not might it is too small for them uh, they're two convicts, and if, especially if you're going to have them breeding, you know, everyone recommends a 40-gallon. And I knew that, so I knew I was going to have to upgrade them anyway. So I have them in a 20-gallon for right now, and I bought them as, as a breeding pair. Again, I bought them at PetSmart for like 10 bucks, which was a steal, so obviously I'm going to get them. So today, again, they're going to be getting a bigger home, and hopefully they'll be able to breed for me in their bigger home. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so here is my 20 gallon. And in here I have my pair of convicts. I have my male convict right there and my female is in here somewhere. Um, but today they're gonna be getting upgraded. Like I just said, from the 20 to a 40 that I got from Petco for about 50 bucks, they're running their deal. And you know, it was perfect because these guys needed to upgrade anyway. So might as well, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab a handy dandy bucket i have plenty as you guys can see and i'm going to take all the decor the filter put it on the bucket then drain the water um get the fish out while it's draining and yeah just put the 40 gallon in this position so i'll pick up the camera i don't know i'll just pick up the camera wherever and you guys will see wherever I'm at. All right, peace. All right, guys, so I got the 20 gallon drained and out and the 40 gallon in its place. And as you can see, it's way bigger, way wider, taller than the 20 gallon. So I got my convicts in here with their sponge filter in here. And I got all the decor, boom, right there. So I think what we're gonna do is i know they're convicts and i know they might pick on the plants but i think what i'm gonna do is trim back some of this i forgot what it's called it might be a horn i don't know i'm gonna trim this back and then i'm gonna plant it in here and see if the convicts are gonna destroy my plants or not so we're gonna put a layer of planted substrate and then on top of it we're gonna put some sand and then plant the tank so I'll uh, pick up the camera. I'll pick up the camera at some point. All right guys, so here's the 40 gallon tank and I put my um, aquarium, my planted substrate in little baggies and here's what I am using. And here's what I'm using. I'm using the Eco Complete planted aquarium substrate. And yeah, I put them in the little baggies so that they can stay nice and, uh, um, they can stay nice and clean. And so that let's say if I do end up taking this tank down at some point, then all my aquarium planted substrate will be nice and it's baggy, nice and relaxed and chilling and clean. Um, I'm gonna put a nice layer of substrate on here, um, give the plants good beneficial bacteria to get through and it's just better for them. And let's get to it. So I'll pick up the camera once all this aquarium substrate is in. All right guys, so now the sand and all the substrates in. So what what I have here is I have that aquarium uh, plant substrate that you saw in the baggies, and then I put in some um, all-purpose sand from Ace Hardware, and then now on top of that, so I did that in the back, obviously, so it can be a little lifted. So I put I put the the all-purpose sand underneath, and especially more on the back, as you can see, it's like on a on it's elevated back there so that when i put the plants in then they'll actually get in there and get stuck in there and have a lot more uh beneficial bacteria um that gets that ends up getting colonized in there so that's the reason for different sands and also the elevated look here all right so right here next to me i have my scape ideas right so i'm thinking either going dragon stone right on here and doing it like a valley style. So I'm like putting them. 
That's really hard doing this one hand. Bear with me, guys. So, like, making it look like this. And let me grab another piece. And, yes, I rinsed these out because these were waiting for a while. And, like, do, like, a little valley type thing. And, obviously, I have more. So, I'll, like, make it come forward. Um, or putting a piece of driftwood in the middle and then having that dragonstone around or just those uh, river rock, the bigger ones, all around. So I'm going to mess with it a little bit and I'll pick up the camera once I make a decision and once I try everything out. Peace. Alright guys, so I finished scaping and hopefully these pieces of wood don't float, but we'll see. Um, I'll take the risk. But here it is, and once that water is in, it'll be a lot clearer. But it might not make sense, right? Because it's not a complete uh, biotope like Dragonstone and River Rock at the same spot with Driftwood. But I just like the way it looks. I put some uh, of that hornwort. I think that's what it's called. Um, don't bash me for it. But I put some of it in there, and I'm going to start. Obviously, start with a little uh, because with good lighting, the thing's going to flourish. Right, but I'm starting little because I don't know if these convicts are going to pick at them and we will, you know, we'll eventually see. So um, I'm going to start putting water in this thing and hopefully it looks really good. So stay tuned. Peace. All right, guys. So the scape is finished for now, at least. I'm going to still see how I like it. And if I like it by the end of the day, then I'll keep it. Uh, but again, like I said. I put a little bit of plants in here. Obviously, they're cichlids, so they might pick up the plants. So I just put a little bit, not too much. Um, I've got, I mean, again, there's only two fish in there. I've got a uh, sponge filter on here, got a heater. Um, again, this water, I put stress coat on it. It's got a lot of beneficial bacteria. Of It's obviously the same filter that I was using before. Um, and all this right here material was already used. Like this sand, they already have used sand that they were using and they have um rocks they're using so the only things that are new is uh those two driftwoods and uh the dragonstone and the sand underneath but other than that everything's reused um the water i made sure it was the same temperature from coming out my sink well it was like obviously i did it by hand like to feel but it was about the same and yeah so the comics are in there and you can see them swimming around there's the female over there and the males back here um probably loving their new space um they got a whole 40 gallon and instead of a 20 so everything oh well, yeah i was as you can see like oh, i put most of the sand that was this is the one that they were in and all the sand is gone it's just excess water um but yeah guys so here's the upgraded tank for them and while i was doing this transfer guys i actually saw some babies I don't know if you could see, where is he? Right there, there's a baby there, right? And there's a baby, there's somewhere else. I don't know, so I don't know if they had fry and they ate them or what happened, but as you can see, there's one baby there. So hopefully with this tank upgrade, they'll get acclimated and they can make some more. All right guys, so it's actually been about three days since I've upgraded my convict's tank. And in here we have a male and female convict and they're a mated pair so uh, as you saw earlier in this video there's about two or three fry that we were able to see and i don't see them anymore so either they got picked off by the parents or they just died due to basically changing their environment just water everything they just passed away they couldn't handle it i don't know but um my my convicts look like they're doing good and there's the female there in her own area and there's the male in his own area so it's kind of like they took half like the the dragon stone it's kind of like separating the two right it's actually pretty cool to like to see the way they're they're interacting with each other so like he'll come over and just like mess with her for a little bit and then go back to his area but nothing serious no major damage again they've already they've already made some fry in my 20 gallon so hopefully they do the same here um, it's been only about three days, so they're still getting acclimated to their new environment. But as you can see, they come out and do their own thing. And he's over there. But they usually just tend to their like stay in their own area. And then, and then yeah. So all my plants are doing great. 
they're not picking at the plants. Um, they're eating just right now. I did put in some food. See, right there, she's eating right there. I did put them some food, and they're gonna go around and collect them. And all the pellets are right there. As you, see, you can see, there's some pellets in, and this is actually a really beautiful female. Uh, right now, I'm like, I'm I'm not getting all the colors she normally has. Again, they're getting acclimated to this tank. So, but usually she's got a lot of orange and a lot of blue on her, and she's very beautiful. The male, I mean, he's not the greatest looking male, but he's a, he's still a stunner, uh, and a handsome lad. So, um, hopefully. They enjoy their environment, they enjoy the new tank, the new uh, scape, and the new hides that they have. Um, I definitely think this tank definitely looks better than the way the 20 gallon, the 20 gallon was. I just honestly threw things in there. So these guys definitely need an upgrade. I need to do better for them. There's the male coming out. There they are. They're really cool. I love the way, like you can see the blues now underneath like in her bottom fins. And she's show, just showing off for them. They're honestly just showing off for the camera right now. They look amazing. So, I mean, I'm I'm glad that they're getting used to the environment. They're looking good. I got my uh, my sponge filter there doing amazing. I got the floating plants. Uh, the next thing I just need is a lid for the top, and so that I can position the light actually right. But I. I, I don't know, I had a brain fart, and for some reason I was thinking, oh, my 20 gallon lids will work. I I don't know, sorry. I don't know why I, I thought that. But either way, see, look, look, see. He'll mess with her, and there's enough hides and stuff here where she'll end up getting away. See, she lost them now, so boom. And so one of these days, these guys are gonna breed for me more fry, which is gonna be awesome. But again, guys, so thank you for watching. Leave a like comment any ideas any any anything you suggest for more uh uh for more breeding tips or whatever and uh leave a comment of what you think about the scape um and yeah so subscribe and thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video peace